Well, uh, there are two sides to every story. Now, the one from the National Assembly goes as follows. Rival parties just cannot agree on a number of bills put forth by each party. Now, these bills need to be okayed by the National Assembly before the regular parliamentary session comes to an end on Wednesday, that is tomorrow. Our parliamentary correspondent Park ji tells us what exactly is holding them up. The deputy floor leaders of the two main rival parties met for talks Tuesday morning, aiming to legislate the bills each party hopes to pass. But they came away empty-handed. The ruling Senate party wants to pass several economy-related bills, such as an act on promoting the service industry, a bill that makes M&As easier, and a counter-terrorism act. The Conservative Party pressed the opposition camp for cooperation, accusing it of deliberately delaying discussions on the bills in committee, and urged lawmakers to be more responsible to its legislative duties. It's very frustrating to see that all the urgent bills for improving the livelihoods of the people, which both parties agreed to pass within this session, haven't been discussed yet. The main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy Party, which is also pushing for passage of a number of bills, including one aimed at improving cooperation between conglomerates and a small and medium-sized company, said the economy-related bills promoted by the ruling bloc do not reflect the interests and demands of ordinary people and the middle class. The Liberal Party accused the presidential office of pressuring the parliament, saying the parliament belongs to people, not to the president. The party also expressed their opposition to labor-related bills. The party emphasized that a previous agreement made on December 2nd, under which party leaders had agreed to pass labor reform bills during the next extraordinary session, was based on an existing bipartisan agreement. And as long as the conditions for the original agreement are not met, the party can never accept the bills. We say once again that the party can never accept the passage of the five labor reform bills that ruling party and the government are pushing as they are unjust laws and will only create more irregular positions. Meanwhile, the ruling party unilaterally submitted a request to convene an extraordinary session on Thursday, right after the regular session ends on Wednesday. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.